Huawei is updating their Pebble Maps map application on a regular basis. I showed you already an initial review and also some updates that it got. What I want to show you right now is the update for this month for version 1.9. So let's get started. So this is the brand new Petal Maps version 1.9 running on my Mate XS and as you can see here you can see me where I'm running right now in a little park and uh, still you see that this park is not visible in the map apps but what we have right now is a new feature that allows us to see the satellite and the terrain. So let's go first to the terrain map to see how this will look like. So I switched to the terrain map, nothing changed. Let me switch to the satellite view and here we can see the satellite view and here I can see clearly also where I'm walking past the uh, little garden here, uh, very close to the street. Basically right next to the street you might hear cars in the background passing by. And uh, here's the big, big field where there's also I think a little um, little place for kids to play and yeah we want to walk there. Another new feature that was introduced with the last version is the temperature. It's still here as you can see here on the bottom there we get to know the temperature. So what Huawei did with Petal Maps 1.9 is updating everything a little bit more friendly for people who hike or yeah, take a walk and this is also introduced by if you search for some places just like for example I would search for um, the Cologne Cathedral Cologne Cathedral it will show you me show me the Cologne Cathedral as you can see here and it's beautiful new satellite view and if I can get directions, I don't only get directions, I get more accurate directions by foot now. So I have different routes here that I can take. And of course I have now also the possibility to use a bike to cycle to there. And it gives me fairly accurate uh, ways to go there as well, as well as the time. So this is cool and I have some route preferences like avoid ferries if I want to and uh, yeah this looks also very interesting and the car navigation basically didn't change but you have now the option to choose directly which one you want to start which is i think new and then you have also the public transport option that was there already before i like the new satellite view and i like also the uh, view for terrain that uh, will show you highs we can see it probably somewhere no we don't see it but it can show you also some highs uh, on mountains and hills and so on which is pretty nice there's some other new features you can go to about and to what's new to list all the features i showed you already the satellite map and the terrain map and the weather info which is not really new i think it was added last time but uh, it's working now and uh, walking and cycling navigation have been updated. I showed you this as well. As well as uh, commute card, stay updated with journeys, time and traffic and conditions, which is a feature that I don't know how to use, I have to say, and where to find it. But what I find very interesting is that Petal Maps is going to add more and more features. We have, for example, under details, not only the traffic detail, but also the transit details that you can put on and then it will show you some uh, yeah, train stations and bus stops and so on. So let me check here for example there is one I can click on it and it will tell me what this uh, station or bus stop is called. So this is also pretty handy sometimes if you want to reach a uh, bus line and uh, or the want to know the uh, stop where you have to get off. So this is basically everything for the new update of uh, Petal Maps 1.9. If you discovered something that I don't know yet, you can of course write it to me in the comment section. Uh, otherwise we have safe places of course that was added before as well. 
and uh, the option to cloud sync so that all your Huawei devices that have cloud sync enabled can share those saved places for example and the history as well. That's everything for this version 1.9. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you have some questions you can ask in the comment section and until the next time, bye!